Hello everybody. There has been a change to the channel, a, a subtle rebrand. So I thought I would just come on here, explain why, and a little update as to what I've been up to and what kind of content I plan to make in the future. My cats are being really, really funny right now. As soon as I hit record, <laughs> You're crazy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, I'm gonna scoot up just a wee, just a wee bit. I'm gonna just move you guys up here. Okay. All right. <sighs> Hi. I have not uploaded any real content other than some shorts in, I don't know, one year, two years probably at this point. And it's actually been about five years since I've made any regular amount of content. I haven't been offline completely. I actually shifted gears over to Twitch and invested to live streaming. Editing long form content has not been something that brings me joy. In fact, it's kind of stressful and it's for a lot of reasons. I have hundreds of videos on this channel, all under the name Holly Huckleberry. I started my Twitch channel as Holly Huckleberry, and ultimately I've made the decision to walk away from that name. Holly Huckleberry was inspired by Holly Go Lightly and the song Moon River, and also had a deep rooted connection to Montana, where huckleberries grow wild. And Montana is the place that inspired me to start this channel, move into my van, road trip. That was really the birthplace of Holly Huckleberry. So I created the channel to be a travel journal. It was a way for me to document and share my experiences. And it was very personal and very much a visual diary, if you will, just something that I was willing to share publicly. Although I have always held on to this hope of posting more content, I have finally come to terms with the fact that I don't really wanna do that anymore, at least not in the way that I was doing it. And because Holly Huckleberry was so personal, it was such a huge part of my identity that my failure to fulfill my intentions on social media and in content creation felt like a reflection on who I am. Holly Huckleberry was so ingrained in who I was. It was truly a mirror of who I am. And I just don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> I've gotten much better over the last few years in creating boundaries, compartmentalizing my life, and it helps me to stay happy and healthy and prioritize what is most important to me in each and every moment. <laughs> so without further ado, hello, hi, I'm Wendy. You don't have to call me that, but you could. Wendy Venture. And that's the name I go by on the internet now. <laughs> Obviously, Holly Huckleberry content is gonna be floating around space for the rest of time. This isn't some big secret, and I have no intention of deleting or removing the previous work that I've done. Some of it's a little cringy to me, but some of it I am incredibly proud of, and I still have a few videos that get a lot of activity. In particular, my misophonia video is still getting regular comments and the discourse is so positive and I would never take that down. I would never stop that kind of conversation from happening. I am so happy that I got to do the whole Holly Huckleberry thing for a minute. <laughs> but Wendy Venture is my new name. It is much farther from my real name, which helps me feel protected and safe. It helps me to separate that from who I am as a person. It's no longer that serious. Like I started to really take it personally when I wasn't fulfilling the obligations that I put on myself <laughs> by creating more distance between Windy Venture and who I am in my personal life. It just makes, it just takes the pressure off and I hope to make it fun again. I hope to feel inspired. And when I don't feel inspired, that's literally okay. It's not a big deal. I've got a lot of other things going on in my life. So what can you expect from Windy Venture in 2023? Here's what we're thinking. 
I am currently in the process of having a VTuber made for my Twitch streams. For those of you who do not know what VTubing is, that is... Virtual streaming where it is not your likeness, your face on, a, on camera, um, and you have a graphic or image of some kind that talks for you. Did I explain that right? <laughs> she in fact did not. I'm new to this whole world, <laughs> but I kept noticing that I didn't want to stream mostly because I didn't want to go home after a long day and I'm tired and I didn't want to have to turn bright lights on because you have to be well lit when you're on camera. And I really like to stream. So I have not yet announced my comeback stream because my little Wendy, she's still being made uh, by a very talented artist who is actually quite active on the YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and link them down below. Good Apple boy making content on YouTube and Twitch and just a very talented artist. So they are well underway creating Windy, and I'll be rolling out some regular streams as soon as that is ready on my Twitch channel. I have gotten comments in the past that they miss my old style of vlogs because I was so chatty and I talk, 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 talk. And the longer I created YouTube videos, the less talking I felt like doing. Editing this is kind of my worst nightmare at this point. I just don't like doing it. It's too much. It's too much of this. I'm over it, okay? So if you want to chat with me about travel, mental health, wellness, movies, TV shows, cats, dogs, whatever, you know, like that's what I do on Twitch is I chat and we play video games and I do art, I'm actually doing watercolor painting, and I might be diving into some digital art. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing on my Twitch channel very soon. Will you be able to see me and my face on Twitch? Probably. I like to do the occasional cosplay. I like to do special events. So am I hiding my face from the internet forever? Absolutely not. You'll probably see me. However, with my schedule being the way it is currently and my lifestyle and my preferences, it just takes so much pressure off to be on a microphone and not on a camera and to have this cute little windy lady kind of taken over the stream. So I'm very, very excited. If you want to know, she's a hobbity bat lady or a batty hobbit lady. I'm not really sure. We're still working it out. What do you what do you think? But it's it's nerdy wholesome shit that's not too wholesome. Hence the swearing. I still swear like a sailor. So that's where I'm going to be most often. As far as this YouTube channel, there is a series that I've been filming. The whole point of me painting was so that I would have something to do while I'm hiking or out in nature that just helps me to slow down because I really have a hard time taking a beat to appreciate the hard work I've put in. Typically when I go hiking, I'm going fast and then I get to where I'm going, eat a food bar, go pee in a bush, and then get out. So I picked up painting. Now I am not very good, <laughs> but how cool would it be for me to take you guys along with me on hikes and painting and all of that jazz. So I've technically already posted one of the shorts. However, it does say Huckleberries. I might edit that video and rebrand it when I'm ready to post the rest of the series. So I have filmed a few videos um, from the spring and summer. They were never posted, but I really enjoyed making those. and making that short form content and having it be a little less chatty and a little more dewy and showy words. It feels good. It feels good for me. So that is my intention. However, I'm not going to beat myself up or take it personal if, if it just doesn't work out because life is busy, life is hard, and it's a fun little side project. If I don't get to the side project, so be it but you'll probably be seeing at least the ones I've already made because they're cute and they're short. It doesn't take a lot of work for me to edit. Again, if you wanna converse with me, that's what the live streams are for. But this YouTube channel is still going to be very much about the outdoors and adventure and travel. It's just going to be short form content and it might be a lot of hiking and painting, which I mean, hello. The videos I'm most proud of on this channel are, are my hikes, all of the many hikes that I did on my road trip. Those are my absolute favorites. I'm also on Instagram. I'm still figuring out what the Instagram will be like. The occasional selfie, <laughs> for sure. Just because I'm 
distancing myself doesn't mean I don't like a good selfie every once in a while. I also have a Kofi where you can see my painting and art projects and cosplay. All of the creative stuff is going on to Kofi. I will have all my links down below just so you guys can keep up with me wherever you want to keep up with me. But it's been so long since I've made a sit down, chit chat video. Hi, but things are different now. And I'm excited to officially close the chapter so that I can properly move on. So I'm gonna wrap up with a quick summary as to what I've been up to, because usually these life update videos are quite personal. And I suppose this would be the last video like this that you'll get. <laughs> well, um, I'm a cat mom. I have two cats. I adopted Gimli. Um, oh gosh, a year and a half ago. And Pippin, I just adopted in December. And to be completely honest, it's it hasn't been like the easiest transition. My cats have both uh, fallen ill. Gimli is actually still sick. So I've been kind of navigating that. It's been pretty lame and stressful and scary, but I do love them. Pippin is my first kitten. Gimli, I got at five months and she's been very calm since the get-go. So getting a three month old kitten and he's a wild child. So my hands have been very, very full the last couple of months. I really hope that he calms down as he gets older. Cause he's, he's, he's gonna kill us. I really needed a buddy and she really swooped in and made my life absolutely amazing. I love her literally so much and I'll, I'll do anything for her. So I got her a kitten. <laughs> so yeah, I've been, I've been prioritizing my mental health. I got diagnosed with ADHD and generalized anxiety dis disorder. Then I actually got the opportunity to record a podcast um, that's gonna drop in like a couple weeks, I think. So stay tuned on my socials, I'll post, I'll post it places when it goes live, but I did record an episode with the Misophonia podcast. If that sounds interesting to you, that's happening. <laughs> and then I'll be back on Twitch real soon. So that's my life update. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, I got a Huckleberry tattoo. I'll get a little closer and we can wrap this video up. As we close this chapter officially, I did want to do that in a celebratory fashion, and that is why I got a Huckleberry tattoo. I'm obsessed. I had to do it. Here, here we go. I absolutely will remember all of the adventures and all of the places I got to see, but I do, I do want you to know, you, hi, the Huckleberries. I do want the Huckleberries to know that you are absolutely a part of this, and I will always think back on the, I'm getting emotional. No, whether you were a part of my life in a big or a small way, I appreciate what you have brought to my life. And this era, the Holly Huckleberry era would have been nothing without people rallying behind me and getting excited when I was excited, willing to, you know, get vulnerable with me when I did. Hey, I'm done. Thank you for listening. Uh, if you're new here, weird time to come in, but hey, I'm Windy Venture. <laughs> Click the links down below if you want to keep up with, with me, and I hope everyone out there is doing okay. It's been a rough couple of years. Damn. <laughs>